Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty stash, or welcome if it is your first time here. Hello, my name is Steph. I would love to have you become part of our makeup family, so be sure to click on that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. Today I'm going to be trying out a whole bunch of new ColourPop goodies. I picked up all six shades in their new So Glassy Lip Gloss. I also picked up one of their new matte bronzers, and look at the size of this. This is like a mega size of bronzer and then I also picked up the new getting fresh eyeshadow palette this is a mega size eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna be creating four different looks for you guys using this palette I am gonna be doing a dedicated video where I lip swatch all of the new so glassy lip glosses so definitely be on the lookout for that in today's video I'm just gonna be showing you some arm swatches of these and the shade that I'm wearing right now is this one right here this one is called Newport and of course I will have arm swatches of the eyeshadow palette and of the bronzer and we'll just see if this new ColourPop collection is worth your time and your money. This collection has a beach vibe to it, which coincidence, I am heading out to the beach tomorrow. I cannot wait for that. So let's get this video started, guys. If you all want to see these new ColourPop goodies in action, keep on watching. All right, guys, we're going to start first with the new pressed matte bronzer. There are six shades available on the ColourPop website, and this bronzer retails for $14. You are getting eight grams of product in here. The shade that I picked up is called Summerland Beach. I believe that is the, that is the third shade, so kind of like in the middle there. I am going to get, let's see, where's the brush? What am I going to use? I'm going to use my BK. Hey Beauty, this is the 107 brush. Oh, I think this is a really nice shade already. I feel like this bronzer might be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. And they are similar in size as well. And I want to say this one has more shades to choose from than that one does. Let me know if you've picked up the new Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. I had originally purchased it and then my order got lost in transit. So they refunded my money and I just, I haven't repurchased since. I did get the new um, Laguna cream bronzer from NARS. So I'm going to be trying that out in a trying new makeup video that you guys should probably see either over the, over the weekend or sometime next week. But I think the shade is beautiful. This is the size of like the Soul Body highlighters. And so obviously you can use this bronzer, I mean on your face, of course, on your decollete, wherever you want to bronze up. And I like it. I think it's a really pretty shade. It's blending out really well and it's definitely matte. I love the way the bronzer looks, guys. We have our first winner. And I will say this um, new lip gloss does feel very comfortable. I noticed that I feel like it's a thicker formula than their original Lux gloss. So maybe those of you that do not like the Lux gloss, Maybe this is something that you'll enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna add some blush and highlighter. For blush, I'm gonna be using a ColourPop blush, of course, and this one is in the shade Foxy. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Super Shock highlighter. This one is in the shade Stole the Show. All right, guys, this is how the complexion is looking. I am loving it. I did spray my face with a little bit of the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Setting Spray. Let's get started creating four looks with the new Get and Fresh palette from ColourPop. 
Now I've already primed my eyelids using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, the reformulated version. So this 30 pan palette retails for $34 on its own. What I ended up doing was getting the bundle with the So Glassy lip glosses. So that bundle retails for $78 and I think I had like a discount code or something. And then um, I just picked up the matte bronzer. If you want to buy the bundle of these new So Glassy lip glosses the bundle is $45 or if you want to buy them individually they are $8 so obviously I bought this palette because green is popping out at me and it just looked like a fun fresh updated eyeshadow palette like I think it lives up to its name so fresh so we're definitely gonna play with the green and why not start now I see some shades that can kind of be like a little duochrome they have a little bit of a shift to them like this one right here and this one down here so I'm really excited about that. This one is calling my name. Um, let me start first. I am going to do, let's see, this shade right here. And then I'm going to work into this shade over here. So the first shade I'm going to use is called Slick. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Open. And I'm using a Refer 15. Don't forget that the Refer Concept Store has been restocked this brush is in there and what that means is that all of the items in the concept store they are 40 percent off so if you want to take advantage of that stock up on some of your favorite brushes or just try the brand for the first time you all see me use these brushes time and time again they clean up well they work well. They're just some of my favorite brushes and they are natural goat hair brushes. Uncut, undyed. Okay, so I do notice a little bit of kick up in the pan. Not much, but it's there. Typical, you know, typical ColourPop shadow. And the shade is blending out really well, I believe. It looks the same color as it does on the lid as it does in the pan. Now with that same brush, I'm going in with the shade open. I'm gonna focus that a little bit lower. All right, I'm loving the blend that I got from those two shades. Now, I think, I think I'm going to go in, I'm going to try this shade right here. This looks like a, like an army green. I think, I haven't swatched this palette yet. It's called Hot Take. I'm taking that shade on a Refer 14. All right, guys, so that is, that is a nice shade. Got a little bit deeper than I was expecting, but not bad. I like it. Okay, so now I think I'm going to go in with uh, this shade right here. This shade looks like it has a shift to it. This one is called uh, No Doubt. I'm taking that on a damp Refer 21. Ooh. Wow, that has a lot of payoff. Wow, that's pretty. Adding a little bit more of Hot Take, which was that dark shade, just to blend the edge. I love that. That looks so pretty. Really nice shimmer. Definitely spray the shimmer. You're going to get the best payoff from it that way. So right now, looking for a brush. I'm going to go in with a Refer 12. I think I'm going to, let's see. Actually, I think I'm going to go back with, no, that might be a little too, a little too dark. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This one is called um, That's Life. I'm taking that shade on a Refer 12. Just halfway. Now on a Refer 26, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This shade is called uh, On the Outs. On the Outs. And I am going to spray the brush. Now with that Refer 26, I'm going to pick up some of Hot Take, that darker shade, and I'm just going to use it right out here to line. All right, guys, I like the way this turned out. I got very little fallout, and it was when I was working up here. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Let me add some mascara, maybe some lashes, liner, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. All right, guys, here's the completed look number one. 
I just tight lined the top lash line with some Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner. And for the lower waterline, I went in with the NYX Epic Wear Smoke Liner. This one is in the shade Sage Sparks. And I also went in with NYX Mascara. This is the On The Rise Mascara. This is the one I will be using throughout today's video. And I love the way the look turned out. Really easy. Nice look. We got some green. Let's move over to the left eye and start working on look number two. All right, so for look number two, I want to work with these like peach pink shades and maybe even incorporate some green. So I think I'm going to start with this shade first. This shade is called Dressed Up. And I'm taking this shade on a rougher 27. Now I'm going to go in with this shade right here, and the shade is called Gone Bad. And I'm taking this shade on a refer 14. This is such a pretty color. All right, now let's add a pop of green. I'm going to go in with this shade called Cereal, and I am going to spray the brush. This is a damp Morphe M124. So in case you're wondering, I pick up the product first and then I spray. And I just use setting spray. I like that. That's pretty. I add a little bit more of Gone Bad. I think I'm going to extend the green. I think I want it just all the way. Yeah. I think that looks a little better. Now for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go in with Gone Bad, that coral shade. I'm just going to drag it down there. I'm going to use a refer 26. Now I'm going to go in with the shade. The shade is called Do Your Thing. Same refer 26. I just sprayed it. Now to add a little bit more brightness on the inner corner, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This one is called Freak. Same refer 26, I did spray. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this shade right here to the brow bone. The shade is called Literally Me. This is one of those sequin shades, and I'm using a BH Cosmetics pencil brush. I feel like this outer corner needs something. I feel like something's missing. I don't know if I should just go in with another shade, a deeper shade. Let me try, let me try this shade real quick. This one is called Hands Down. And I'm using the Refer 14. I might have to go a little bit deeper than this. I'm gonna use the shade right below it. It's a dark brown matte. It's called Soft Launch. Yeah, this is what I needed. Well, it's nice to see that I can layer these shades. I'm actually going to bring a little bit of that soft lunch shade right down here. All right, just like that. I think we got it perfect. Let me throw on some mascara, liner, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number two. All right, guys, here's the completed look number two. I used uh, this Half Magic Beauty Chrome Addiction Eye Paint. This one is in the shade We Are Aliens. I did review this brand already. So if you want to check this video out, it is all Euphoria inspired makeup. It is actually from the makeup artist from the show Half Magic Beauty. I'll have that linked up above in case you want to get some ideas, but these eye paints were were definitely a standout winner from that haul and that's what I have going on on the top lash line for the lower waterline I went in with a ColourPop cream gel liner this one is in the shade peach fizz I will say I'm a little bit disappointed with this green shimmer shade I did have to touch it up right before coming back on camera this shade right here I just expected something a lot more vibrant and at least for the shimmer to last a few minutes and I don't know. This one isn't, this one didn't do as good of a job as this other one did over here on this eye. I definitely feel like I have more sparkle over here versus this eye. Uh, I don't know. It kind of faded really quick and it's only been a few minutes that I've been filming. So I have to take these looks off, but only so I can come back and create two more for you guys.
All right, guys, so for this next look, I think I'm gonna do something a bit pastel. Uh, so I'm gonna do an all green look, and I'm gonna start with this shade right here. This shade appears to be a sequin type of shade, and this one is called The Point. And I'm taking this shade on a refer 01, and I'm just gonna be placing that all over the lid right here in the inner corner, and I'm going to be working it upwards. I'm gonna bring this outwards as well. All right, so I like that shade. It's exactly the way it looks in the pan. That's how it translates to the eye. Again, this is gonna be a very soft look. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade right here. The shade is called Wilden. It's hard to see these shade names because they're light gold and then the light is reflecting off it. I think it's called Wilden, and I'm taking that on a damp Morphe M124. That's pretty. Now on a Refer 03, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This shade is called Striking, and that's going to be the inner corner highlight. And I probably add it to the brow bone as well. I am spraying the brush. Now on a BK207, I'm going back in with the matte shade or the sequin shade, I should say. I'm just bringing some of that inner corner shade down a bit and up. All right, guys, so I wanted to keep this very light. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this shade right here. You see what I mean? I feel like the shimmer shades are, well, some of them. They kind of diminish a little bit. It's only been a few minutes. I've been filming this for not even seven minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to add those finishing touches. I'll be right back to show you this completed look number three. All right, guys, so here's the completed look number three. For the top lash line, I went in with one of my favorite eyeliners from Shop Miss A. This is the Artista eyeliner, and it's in the shade green. I added also from Shop Miss A my favorite Alexis lashes, and that's it. That's it. Oh, ColourPop, a uh, cream gel liner in the shade Aglow. And this is the look. I like it. I like an all green look. Let's move over to the left eye and start working on the fourth and final look. All right, guys, now for the fourth and final look, I want to incorporate this shade down here. So I think what I'm going to do, let's see. Um, I'm going to start with this shade in the crease and then I'm gonna work in with this shade and then eventually go into this shade. So this shade that I'm starting with is called More and More. And I'm taking the shade on a Refer 27. Now on a Refer 14, I'm going in with Funny Story. I might do a bit of a halo eye. So let me just focus this one out here. I think I'm going to do a different shade though for the inner corner just so I can try as many shades as I can. Now I'm going to go in with this shade for the inner corner. The shade is called That's Life. And I'm using a refer 13. Now I'm going to go in with this shade right here called Goosebumps. I'm using a damp Morphe M124. This is a beautiful shade. Adding a little bit more of Funny Story. And that's life. Ooh, I love that. This is beautiful. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in first with this shade right here. The shade is called Lost In It. And I'm taking this on a Refer 26. Dragging it down a bit. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. The shade is called 2 AM Call. I'm using a damp Refer 26. On that same Refer 26, I just cleaned it off. I'm going to add a little bit of funny story just really close to the lash line. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of this shade right here. This one is called Freak. 
on a damp refer O3. Intensify this inner corner a bit. Now I want to add a little bit of this shade right here to the center. This one is called Genuine. And I'm going to pick it up with that refer O3. Just lightly place it right here. All right, guys, let me add the other falsy, some liner, and I'll be right back to show you this completed look number four. All right, guys, here's the completed look number four. I think this might be my favorite look. What do you guys think? But I added, of course, the other um, Shop Miss A Lash style Alexis. For the top lash line, another one of those Artista eyeliners from Shop Miss A. This one is in the shade brown. I just kind of tight lined up there. And then for the lower waterline, I wanted to just add some teal, like a fun pop of color. So I went in with this LA Girl uh, Metallic Shockwave Metallic Liner in the shade Dragon. This is a good one. This is a really pretty shade. And this is a completed look. So let's go ahead, wrap up today's video. Let me share with you guys my final thoughts on the palette the bronzer, the lip gloss that I've been wearing, and we'll see if this is worth your time and your money. Alright guys, so after creating four looks with the new ColourPop Getting Fresh eyeshadow palette, I don't know if this is something you need, something you need to grab. I guess maybe if it's on sale. I feel like the mattes are great, but the shimmers, some of them. Some of the shimmers, like the ones I was really excited about, in particular this shade, and which was that other shade? Maybe a little bit of this one. They were a bit lackluster. I feel like they lost their shimmer after a few minutes. Maybe that would have been different if I would have used some glitter glue, but I don't usually have to do that with ColourPop shimmers. So I don't know. This one is really pretty. This one that I have on over here, this was a really good one. This is a really nice one. This was a really pretty one. Um, it was just a couple of the greens. This one was a really pretty one as well. Like I was really excited for this one and this kind of fell short. So for me, that kind of makes the whole palette fall a bit short. And if this color story appeals to you, then grab it. Two out of the 30 shades are duds, and that's not bad. I'm sure if you pair some of these with glitter glue, I'm sure it would work better that way. Definitely spray your brush with some setting spray for the shimmer shades, but thank goodness the matte shades all perform great. Guys, I used, I used the majority of this palette. Now, there are a lot of neutral shades in here, a lot of redundancy, I think. I mean, we definitely could have gone without some of these neutral matte shades that we likely already have 10 times over in our collection and maybe given us some more like little shifty shades like this one or just better greens more green more green is always a good idea but other than that guys I think it's a nice color story I think it's a very fresh feeling palette. Uh, I definitely get fresh vibes from it. As far as the lip glosses go, I am going to do a video where I swatch them all out, but I have been enjoying them. This is a very comfortable formula. I've been filming for about two hours now, and I've been uh, drinking my water. You can kind of see there is some rub off there on the jug, and it still feels really nice. And it's not sticky. It's not tacky. I liked all of the neutral shades. This is a uh, beach neutrals. So that's what they're calling it. So really nice. It's the same packaging as that um, Kiss, Fresh Kiss formula. Uh, what, what is it? I forget what it's called. This one right here. Yeah, the uh, Fresh Kiss uh, packaging, but it's not like the lip stain. I think if you are not a fan of the Lux lip glosses from ColourPop, then you're probably going to want to check these out because I feel like the formula is a little bit different. I feel like it's a, a thicker formula, but it's not a tacky, sticky feeling formula. So I would recommend maybe adding one or two of these to your cart if you're going to be picking up the new Getting Fresh uh, eyeshadow palette. As far as the bronzer goes, I love it. I love that it's a big pan. And again, this might be a dupe for the beloved Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I mean, that bronzer is what $55 and this bronzer right here was 
$14. Yeah, 14 bucks, six different shades. Once again, I got Summerland Beach, and I think it is a perfect shade match for my fair to light complexion. Overall, guys, I would say this was a pretty good little color pop haul, but let me know your thoughts. Which look did you like best? One, two, three, four, none. Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this new color pop release, and if you've already picked up any of these goodies, or if you're just going to pass all together. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers. And we'll see you all very soon. Bye.